Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at audibletrial.com slash new music industry over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, or MP3 player. Happy Holidays, Merry Christmas, and Happy New Year. I hope you've been enjoying this podcast series on setting yourself up for an awesome 2020. Instead of giving you a long list of action steps, I've been focusing on providing you with questions that will unlock key areas you can work on to have your best year ever. In this episode, we're going to be exploring resignation and cynicism and what it's pointing to. Some of you are going to hear these episodes and think to yourself, what's the point in thinking about 2020? Nothing's ever going to change for me. I believe it's healthy to have a certain amount of skepticism and to look at things critically. So I'm not down on anyone that feels that way about the conversations we've been having, but know it or not, this is already indicative of resignation and cynicism. And while listening to these episodes, if at any point you've been asking yourself why you should set goals, plan your years, spend time and study, do any kind of thinking or reflecting, that's indicative of resignation and cynicism too. If you've been asking yourself why you'd even bother creating another New Year's resolution, it's the same thing. I know many people who, after a certain age, just gave up on New Year's resolutions. You're not wrong for having any of these thoughts, but it's important to understand that if you're not going to be actively seeking out inspiration, setting goals, or creating a strategy for their achievement, you've already given up. There's nothing wrong with giving up, but if you're not doing it consciously, you're doing it by default. As you can imagine, that's a dangerous place to be. 2020 by default will just be another year for you, and that's the last thing I want for you. So what is cynicism and resignation pointing to? If we can understand resignation and cynicism at a deeper level, we can do something about it. Here's what you need to know. First and foremost, resignation and cynicism are pointing to past hurts. Anybody who says they haven't experienced any tough or difficult moments in their life is lying. There certainly isn't any way to define the degree of difficulty anyone experienced. But one thing we know for sure is that these challenges, for better and for worse, have contributed to who you are and how you're showing up in the world daily. The more aware you are of the events that have impacted your attitude towards life, the better equipped you will be to step outside your default way of being and create yourself as you want to be. Second, resignation and cynicism are pointing to an area where you're given up in life. This may be obvious from things I've already said, but it's an important point nonetheless. I'm not saying you're not still in the fight because you may very well be. But if there's any part of your work that's showing up as pointless, meaningless, or worthless, it's likely because you're giving up in that area. Maybe you're tired of reaching out to venues to book gigs. Maybe you're frustrated with creating industry connections. Could be that you don't see any value in posting to social media one more time when your following is so small. Are you starting to see some areas where you're giving up? Keep in mind that the only reason you've given up on anything is because you've had a bad experience with it in the past. If you were still a child, you wouldn't be giving up on anything because you knew deep down you could achieve whatever you set your mind to. You can't be resigned and cynical about anything you don't have experience with. Third, resignation and cynicism are pointing to an area where you have the potential for breakthrough. This is the part that a lot of people miss and don't understand. We all have pain points in our lives, But human nature is to run towards pleasure or comfort and run away from pain. So even when something unwanted persists in our lives, our best solution much of the time is avoidance. The truth is that pain is pointing to an area where you can have a breakthrough. There are likely areas of your life where everything is going great. This suggests that while incremental improvement may be possible in this area, there are no breakthroughs to be had right now breakthrough is going to come from addressing your pain. Your pain might seem separate from your passion, but it's not because any area of life that's gnawing at you steals from your resources. You could be dedicating to areas of your life that are important to you. 
Said another way, resignation and cynicism is pointing to an area of your life where massive improvement is possible, but it all depends on your willingness to address that area of your life. Pain is just letting you know what you need to deal with. When you deal with it, you're going to achieve more freedom in your life. If you don't deal with it, then you can expect to live with it. You can expect it to show up at the least opportune moments. It will dictate your attitude towards life as well as the behavior that stems from it. This is the insanity many of us are living in. Are you ready for something new? I have a solution to help you set yourself up for an amazing 2020. It's called Start Your Year the Right Way and it's a training resource in addition to being a workbook. It's made up of three key parts. One, inspiration. Two, goal setting. Three, strategy. It will even help you drop your baggage from 2019 as you head into 2020. You don't want to carry last year into next year. That's a recipe for failure. So will you be picking up a copy of Start Your Year the Right Way? Go to musicentrepreneurhq.com slash year for yours and get a head start on 2020. Time is your most valuable resource. It's time to learn how to make the most of it. This is David Andrew Weeb, and I'll see you on the stages of the world. Thank you for listening. Music in this episode was brought to you by Brian Young. Wherever you're listening to this right now, please consider leaving a five-star review and comment to help us get the word out about the podcast. 